Welcome! We have this big number of seconds that we need to break down into hours, minutes and seconds. First, we are going to find the number of whole hours. I am going to use dimensional analysis to convert seconds into whole hours. Let's go! So, we have 5713 seconds. We will write it over 1 and prepare to multiply. We are going to use these conversion factors. One hour is 60 minutes, one minute is 60 seconds, and one hour is 3,600 seconds. So I'm going to use this conversion factor to go directly from hours to seconds. So we are going to take this conversion factor and plug it in right here in such a way so our seconds cancel out. We have seconds on top in the numerator, so we will put 3600 seconds in the denominator and one hour in the numerator. We see that seconds cancel out and we are left with hours. Now, what do we do? We are dividing, right? Because we have 5713 times one hour over one times 3600, yes? So basically we are dividing. So let's divide 5713 hours by 3600. So let's divide, get a calculator, and we will have 1.5869444 hours right? So we totally see that we have one whole hour. So definitely one hour. So we'll put one right here. Very good. Now we are going to take this tail 0.58694444 and we are going to change it into minutes because we see we definitely have one whole hour. And this this fraction of an hour we are going to change to minutes. Let's do it. So next step, we are finding the number of whole minutes. So write the tail 0.58694444 hours over 1 and prepare to multiply. We are going to use this conversion factor right here. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. And we are going to set it up right here in such a way so our hours cancel out and we are left with minutes. So we are going to put one hour on the bottom and 60 minutes on top. And let's look at it. We see hours on top, hours on the bottom. So they will cancel out and we will be left with minutes. It's exactly what we want. You see, the dimensional analysis is helping you to set up the conversion factor in such a way that hours cancel out and you are left with the units you want. Now, what do we do next? We see that we are going to multiply here, right? We have 0 0.58694444 4, 4, 4 times 60 minutes over... 1 times 1. Yes, so basically we are multiplying. We will have 35.2166664 minutes. This is what it shows on my Casio calculator. Your calculator may show more or less digits after the decimal point. We see that we, we have 35 whole minutes. So 35 minutes. Very good. So 35 minutes. Very good. Now we're going to take this tail, which is a fraction of a minute, and change it to seconds. Using the conversion factor, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this is what we're going to use next. Now write it as a fraction. 0 0.21666664. Minute over 1 and prepare to multiply. Now we take the conversion factor. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds and write it as a fraction. We will put 1 minute on the bottom and 60 seconds on top. We see minutes cancel out and we are left with seconds. It's exactly what we need. Now we multiply. 
we have point twenty one six 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 four times sixty seconds, and on the bottom one times one. So when we multiply, when we multiply, we get twelve point nine 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 eighty four seconds. Again, your calculator may show more or less digits after the decimal, but if we round, we will get 13 seconds. So again, we will get 13 seconds. Very good. So we broke down 5,713 seconds into one hour, 35 minutes, and 13 seconds. Did this video help you? Smash the like button and subscribe, and I will see you next time.